Welcome to the introduction to traffic flow theory. And this is an illustration of how to measure time mean speed and space mean speed. And I hope that this will clarify some of the confusion that comes from trying to understand these two uh, ways of calculating speed. In order to simplify our scenario, let's consider a one mile long elliptical racetrack, which is basically a one mile long straight road that's just been looped around and connected at the end. So essentially we end up with a closed system. In this case, we've got five fast cars. Those are the red uh, shapes uh, that are traveling at 80 miles per hour and four slow trucks that always travel at 50 miles per hour. And so this closed system, um, you should note that uh, the, the fast vehicles are able to pass the slow ones without any problem. So, uh, Thinking back to our earlier discussions about uh, point-based measures such as flow and spatial measures such as density, when we're looking from overhead at this track, of course we could easily calculate the density. Um, the density overall is just the number of vehicles divided by the length. So in this case we have nine vehicles and one mile, so the total density is nine vehicles per mile. We could also calculate the densities of the subclasses, the fast cars. We have five, so that's five cars per mile. And we have four trucks, that's four trucks per mile. So you, you notice that the densities of the subclasses are additive, so four plus five equals nine for the total system. So the first question, we're going to use this ratio of densities um, to answer it. And the question is, what's the proportion of slow vehicles as seen from an aerial photograph? So all you're doing is looking at that aerial photograph, uh, and you're saying, okay, we've got nine total vehicles, and four of them are slow. So all we do is divide the number of slow divided by the total number, four divided by nine, so that's 44%. So that is a spatial measure. The next question is, what is the space mean speed on the track? as seen from a series of aerial photographs. So again, we're going to use the uh, density proportion to uh, calculate this speed. So we're not going to just take the arithmetic average, but we're going to proportion the speeds by uh, the density of each subclass. So in order to do that, we will take the density of the fast times the speed, so 5 times 80, plus the density of the slow times the speed which is 50, divided by the total density. So we're distributing the speeds by the uh, density ratio. So the space mean speed here is 66.6 .6 miles per hour. So shifting from a spatial measure to a point-based measure, um, I want to ask the question, will the proportion of slow vehicles seen by a stationary observer over time who is positioned somewhere along the track be higher or lower than that observed from an aerial photo? So in order to think about that, in, visualize yourself standing by the side of this track, recording the arrival times of each vehicle. Say you're doing this for 15, 20 minutes, uh, or maybe even an hour. And so what's going to happen? Well, the fast vehicles are going to be passing the slow trucks. So you're going to see, or you're going to think you're seeing, more than their fair share of fast vehicles. So you will be over-representing the fast vehicles in this proportion which means that the slow vehicle proportion is going to be lower. So we will calculate that next. And so we're going to, we're going to use a point-based measure to um, allocate the proportion of uh, slow vehicles. And so the point-based measure that we're familiar with is the flow. So first we're going to calculate the flow of each vehicle class. And so remember that the flow is the density times speed. And so for the truck class, the density is four vehicles per mile. The speed is 50 miles per hour. So the truck flow to a stationary observer is 200 vehicles per hour. So you're going to see 200 trucks per hour passing by. The, the flow of the car class is just the density times the speed. Five fast cars times 80 miles per hour is 400 vehicles per hour. So you're going to see 400 cars per hour. So uh, the flows are also additive, so the total flow is 600 vehicles per hour. So for the point-based proportion, we're going to use the point-based measure to allocate the proportion. So we're going to use the ratio of the flows. So in this case, 
the proportion of slow vehicles is just the same as the proportion of the flows. So 200 divided by 600 is 33%. So of course that you can confirm that that proportion is lower than what we saw previously from the aerial photos. So the next question says, will the time mean speed on the track, which is the arithmetic average of the speeds measured by the stationary observer, be higher or lower than that observed from a series of aerial photographs? So using the logic that we just uh, went over, you can see that because you're going to see proportionally more fast vehicles, um, then the, the time mean speed is going to be higher. So let us calculate that, the time mean speed. You remember that the, the truck flow is 200, the car flow is 400. So we use the ratio of the flows in order to calculate the speed. So it's 200 vehicles per hour times the uh, speed of trucks, 50 plus 400, which is the car flow, times the car speed of 80, divided by the total flow. So we get 70 miles per hour, which indeed is higher than the space mean speed. And as we've, we've mentioned before, the time mean speed is always greater than or equal to the space mean speed. So thank you very much for your attention.